Okay, it's just going to be a quick video. Uh, went to get this piece. I want to see if I could get it for the Generac. That's who the brand is. Craftsman, but it's Generac. Same as what. So, what I'm going to do is try to uh, glue that for now. Put some tape on it. That's what. Uh, electrical tape. But anyway, this one I wanted to show you something. This generator here, I pop this thing tight, pop this off. This is a Generac oil filter. I'm getting here so you can see it better. So I'm moving. All right. Generac oil filter. Let's see if I can get the numbers for you. There you go. 70185. I couldn't find that. I tried to craftsman, which wasn't right. Then I went ahead and got this. This is from uh it's a Toro from Tractor Supply. Don't know. Let's see if it had any numbers on it. Really don't. Anyway, a tour. We'll take this tour out here. Look, it measured up the same, uh, even on that. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna u probably use this one first. Well, yeah. it's right on there. But just because they screw on there. Your old filter, or whatever. Well, tripping over my crap. Uh, you gotta make sure that the gaskets are the same. And you can take this and put it right on top. And the gaskets are identical. This is a hair bit wider. But then, if you want to even get cheaper, this right here, tractor supply. That one right there is $12, 12 $13, $12, like $13 of tax. I, I cross-referenced it to a, and it came up as Fram 4967. Now, this is a car air, I mean, a car filter for a car. Actually, it's for that out there, that Scion that I drive. Because my sister was laughing. She goes, you get them, keep them in stock on where they are. This is a Fram 4967, which fits uh, the 1.5. It's a Prius motor. It's supposed to be in that. All right. They're a hair bit taller, but the oil seal is the same on both. It's a hair bit smaller, but the oil, the seal is what you got to go by. Now this has got a, a six hole. This has got more holes. That really don't matter. Because imagine, if that came off that car out there, that si a purple Scion, that's got four cylinders. This is only one. Let's go out. I'll show you. Remember this, so 4967. I cross referenced it. And it's tight. You can see. Goes right on there. Fits perfectly. But what you want to look at, if you ever want to do a swap like this, you got to look at this flange here. You got to make sure your gas gets hitting that flange. If it's in a little bit, it won't fit. If it's out a little bit, you don't want to do that. So, what you can do, if you take this flange out, and you, you can take that flange, or the rubber, 
and fits right on there see exactly where it needs to be and if you still ain't for sure or you're guessing yourself a lot of people do that guess this is the original one this is a generic right on there right on there the only difference between these three this is a car for in a car these are lomar but and this one has more holes but it will work if i sit there i don't know if i can get this rubber out it started coming out Let me set you down one second. Now I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Took all the rubbers out. This one's more of a, a square body, like rubber. This one's, uh, it's got a little roundness to it, but it goes in there. And this is even look like a little thinner. But what you got to go by is the mating place. And see how it fits right in there. It actually dropped in that one. See? Right there. And it would fit right in there. Then you could take this. A hair bit bigger than there. But it fits right in there. That's if you're not really for sure. You can do it that way. Or you could actually measure across it too, but so the 4967 does fit and works. You can look at if you're never if you want to go get an, an old filter for your lawnmower and you know what the number is, but they don't have it in stock. Get on Google and do a cross reference and it'll tell you what'll fit. Let me put that back together. I'll be right back. Okay. And another, and another difference on this one, it's actually got a a little lip that it snatches on these just slide in but you gotta think if it's good enough for a car why wouldn't it be good enough for uh, a small engine this is four cylinders this is a one cylinder and that motor at 10,000 rpm or something and your car motor goes up to uh, more than that Ken so, and it fits right on there. So we're going to put the old one back on. The original one for now. But you can do that. You don't have to have the exact filter. As long as it's the same filter. Same threads and works. And our, uh, our carburetor is coming tomorrow. The only thing I got to do. Is the vent tube. That goes from here to here. Got to get that. Well, I got it, as you see right here. I do have it, but it's broke. And I went to McHenry's in Frederick, near where I live. It's a small engine repair shop or a small engine. They do repairs and buy parts. And it, he looked it up. It's a Generac, but you can't get it. They don't have it. So I'm going to try to find one. It might cost me $20, but I'm going to get the, the right thing. And I'll fix this in for now, like he said. And now I was figuring. But this is mostly, a, this video is mostly on air fill, or oil filters that you can use. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. At least you watch one. Please subscribe. And bye till later.